Welcome ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls of all ages. Today I'm going to turn this old orc chopper into a Necromunda vehicle. Now it does look very Necromunda already. Uh, busted pipes and exhaust sticking out everywhere. So it should be a fairly easy transition. I say that now, <laughs> it can only go worse, right? So what I've done so far is obviously I've assembled the main body of it and well, the reason I'm doing it with this vehicle is I have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of these and pull them up loads second hand and the blades always break off. So I've got one that was missing arms, missing blades. So I thought, I'm going to make this into an Ecomander vehicle. Yes, I could easily just swap the head out if I had the full kit. Just swap the head out and you've pretty much got it. There you go, job done. But that'd be a pretty boring video. So what I'm going to do is make this thing wheeled. I'm going to turn this thing into a quad, that's the idea. And yes, obviously I'm going to swap the head out because uh, in my Necromander campaign there are no orcs, not at the moment anyway. And all I've done is scraped off the mold lines and drilled out the exhaust to make it slightly more realistic. So the idea is put some big hoofing wheels on this thing, swap out the legs, maybe get rid of like things like the skull Mm, may keep that in because it's pretty cool but it's easy to scrape the skull off it's easy to swap the arms and head out and I'm going to cut the top bit off as well I think so find a place so I could easily cut it off and make it look like it's supposed to be like that even though I like all the worry bits uh, maybe I could stick a gun on the top possibly but the front is a rocket which brings me to the next thing you can always use a hobby saw to cut that off and it's easy to put a heavy flamer on there, for example, especially with that section there. It looks very flamer-like. That'd be pretty cool. Um, even though flamers don't do big damage in the ash wastes, it's always nice to catch a vehicle on fire and the crew inside. So, I'm going to find some wheels. I'm going to start scrubbing off some mow lines, swapping out the heads, finding some arms, and seeing what I can do with this guy. It's still a great model after all these years. Like I said a billion times before, never chuck any hobby stuff away. So I've decapitated the, the rider, driver, whatever. It's a rider at the moment, I guess. Hopefully it'll be a driver later on. And I found a suitable head. So it's quite a chunky guy. So I'm thinking an Ogren head. A nice, beautiful looking face, right? Okay. Uh, I was thinking that's probably a bit about the right scale to go on there and although these are orc wheels and that's an orc vehicle that's just a happy uh, coincidence uh, I got loads of these left over from Gork and and things like that for years ago uh, these are also the same as the old Space Marine bike wheels as well so that would be pretty cool um, so small wheels on the front big wheels on the back I'm thinking that would be pretty cool bit more uh, necromundary. Still 50-50 whether to keep the rockets or not uh, and use them as grenades possibly or the missile launcher. My other chaos vehicle I named the Tick has missiles as well because I just in my head I can just see missiles whizzing across the sky in the ash wastes and crashing into vehicles. Um, and I don't care if they're not accurate or they're not really powerful I just think they look wicked so I might leave them on there but then heavy flamer mm, what would you do guys let me know in the comment section below because that looks quite heavy flamery that bit really really tempted so I'm gonna have to find some axles and probably cut that skid off there I reckon because I wouldn't look quite right uh, and the piping just so I can get an axle in there I would say you can't just stick it on like that. That look a bit weird with no axle. Someone's bound to lift it up sooner rather than later and find out it's got no axles. How do the wheels work? It's not done on belief, uh, unless you're an orc, I guess. So find me some axles. I do have a nice bit of plastic rod here that would probably be the right diameter. Uh, and lo and behold, I think that is probably the right diameter. So there you go, bit of plastic rod. Uh, pens are always good if you don't want to get any uh, plastic rod from like Green Stuff World, things like that. Um, 
that being said, there are several hobby shops that have plastic card rods, uh, be it solid or hollow, uh, RSJs, um, L sections, all sorts. Plastic card is a wonderful, wonderful thing, especially if you are converting things in Necromunda or 40k, especially, double especially, if you're playing orcs. Nice thick plates on places, big chunky rivets, also not to like. Mighty Lancer Games, who we are affiliated with, have a lovely section of uh, plastic card sections. Uh, they sell stuff from Green Stuff World as well. So Green Stuff World has always done well in the past. From plastic card check plate to, to plastic bottles for my bars and things like that. So yeah, please check them out. Link obviously in the description below. So this is the next stage. I've cut the ski bits off and the cabling, and me being me, I'm not chucking anything away, so that cabling can be pretty useful for other things. So keeping that, and of course the other lot of piping slash cabling, and the ski bits. So maybe I'll have a uh, Necromunda model in the ash waste who skis. Sure, skiing on sand, why not? Um, I've stuck the plastic rod between the two wheels, measuring the gap where the wheels are likely to touch on this. And if you notice there, there's a slight semicircle, so a better surface area for that plastic rod to stick to. And the way I did that is, I've got a bit of a bearing tool on my battery gun. So, of course you can have a Dremel or something like that. Uh, that battery gun is quite expensive. Uh, I'm a mechanic and I'm using it uh, for miniatures. So I'm going to glue it on there so there's a better surface area for that thing to stick to and measuring that there's enough gap there and enough gap between the vehicle and the wheel itself. So no wheel guards are going on this. Uh, screw health and safety. This is the 41st Millennium. This is Necromunda. If you touch the wheel you're gonna die. You're only gonna do it once right? So no wheel guards. So I'm going to attach those and then start on the front axle. So that's what I've got so far. So I've got some arms uh, from another orc vehicle. I think it's the Speed Freaks box. Found an old set of handlebars. Converted them a little bit so they fit. Tiniest bit of green stuff just in the handle there. But that's only because I uh, cut off a little bit too much of a weird angle. A tiny little bit of green stuff filling in the hole with the neck there. And the same there. So it's not looking too bad. It looks like a proper little buggy. Uh, but it would be a tiny quad for an Ogren. Because uh, these guys are pretty big. So the next thing is, I think I'm going to cut this bit off here. It's the question of what am I going to stick on the top. Because it look a bit weird. Just cut off at an angle. So I might have to put, I don't know, it's back of the headrest or something. Maybe I should put like a little headrest for him, a proper headrest because he's got quite a big noggin. Um, I don't know, I'll cut it off and search for my bits box. So after I cut the top off, I've stuck a little, <laughs> ironically I'm using a lot of orc bits, orc um, mega knobs plate there, off the front of their armour. Tiny bit of green stuff because there is a hole behind there with the two halves of plastic met. And I wanted to make it a little bit smoother because it's the top of the back of the seat, like the head resty bit. So there we have it. There's the basic conversion. Uh, I wanted to leave the, the fan on the back with the um, the plane wings or the, the tail rudders. Purely because it probably doesn't do a lot um, if it was real. But it's very necromundary. Bits of everything bolted together. So why not start with something orc related? So it's very, very orky. Um, Bolting things together in the hope they will just work. On hope, <laughs> in fact. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with this thing. So I think the next stage is, you guessed it, throw some paint on it. So I'm painting it with the colors of my Chaos Mutant Gang. So some, somewhere in there, I'm gonna have some vibrant purple. And of course, this is an Ogryn, so there's gonna be some nice flesh tones going on there as well. 
and obviously what's Necromunda without a little bit of streaking grime and there it is done so I've painted it in my chaos colors which is uh, an off purpley pink and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with the Ogryn I think he looks pretty nice that's a, probably a better picture there um, yeah weathered it up with some enamels and uh, yeah pretty happy I do like the missiles on the front now I wasn't quite sure I thought I was gonna go with the flamer uh, but I think that looks pretty cool trying to run along in the ash wastes um, I do think he needs a bit of a name I kind of think with the the rough around the neck he kind of looks like um, <laughs> and the crook of the neck it kind of looks like vulture from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon so I might just call the vehicle Vulture rather than just the dude but yeah pretty chuffed with that um, all I did was cut the bottom off put some wheels on, make some axles, cut off any cabling uh, cut the top piece off simple head swap a uh, couple of different arms and um, handlebars but all of that was already on there anyway if you've already got one of these guys kicking around uh, this was from black reach originally this model so it might not be too easy to get hold of these but the new choppers will do just as well if you were thinking about using a chopper but this is just what i do with older kits that i have parts of <laughs> rather than the full deal because i can never chuck anything away and i just make do with what i got and I think that is very Necromunda as well, just cobbling bits together and making it look like something else. So yeah, I like the fact that it still looks kind of plain like, like the orc, um, like the orc vehicle that um, is blatantly, <laughs> it looks like a Spitfire, but has no wings. So yeah, really happy with this. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh if I'm going to do any hobby, I'll probably stick a camera over my shoulder while I'm doing it, uh, just to show you what I'm up to, just to update you if you're ever interested. And um, I'm always open for messages or suggestions. Um, please let me know what you're working on. I really do care, and uh, I love inspiration. So, and hopefully, I inspired you guys as well. So, stay safe, you wonderful people, and I'll catch you in the next video.